This video is a little different. This is all the stuff that I found after I found the jewelry last week. If you saw last Sunday's video, I found 27 pieces of valuable and fun vintage jewelry for under $300. And then I went on into the rest of the store and I found art glass and I found a rose quartz paperweight and I found some mid-century figurines, but it takes me a lot longer because it's not my area of expertise, right? I'm a vintage jewelry expert. So stay with me. It's worth it. You'll see my mistakes and my wins, and I will see you back at the car haul at the end. This is very heavy. This is very, very beautiful. Look at the back of that. Okay, this is gorgeous. Look at the yellow and the blue. I don't know what it is. I'm going to try and do a little research. Um, I just want to, and then, um, while I was putting that in the cart, I noticed a really kind of sparkly vase over here that didn't fit in. Let's see if you can find the one that I mean. All right. Here's the row. Here's the row. So far, pretty ordinary, ordinary, ordinary. And then, wait, see that bottom? Oh, it's very light. Okay, all right. It fooled me. This is nice. Okay, there's a whole bunch. And let's keep going. Oh, look how cute they are. <laughs> a boy and a girl. Oh, look at you. Hi. Hello. I feel like you guys know what it is. Oh, it says Mikasa right there. Okay. All right. Are these um, chopstick rests? Oh, um, these are cute. These are for tea bags on your counter. Those are cute. There's a whole set of them. Is that a cat? It's a bunny. All right. Okay. How did I miss this? One cup. It's a measuring cup. I'm in China. Okay. I'll do a little a little run through this cathedral looking thing is catching my eye next to this sort of recycled glass looking thing. Ooh, look at that swirl. That's nice. It looks like it's used to make guacamole, right? And then this. This is a lantern. That is glass in there. Just a votive holder. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Let's see what else is here. All right, I'm going to pull back because I turned my head. See, this is the thing. You don't want to make people dizzy, but I turned, I turned my head to the left and I saw this. This is very smooth. I'm going to Google that one too. That's heavy. All right. What is this? Oh, I guess it's um like a fraternity or a sorority or something. I don't know. It's chipped. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The Wilsons. Heaven's a little closer in a house by the sound. I know the Wilsons. All right. Look at that fish. Uh, look at this fish. Ooh, there's two fish. One fish, two fish. Clear fish. Clayfish. <laughs> One fish, two fish. Clear fish, clayfish. Okay. So, honestly, this looks like it could be something. I'm not seeing any damage. What is that? Is that glue? No, it's just, it's just dirt. Yeah, it was on a shelf for a long time. How much is it? It's twelve ninety nine. I'm gonna look him up. <laughs> look at that. That's a fun cart top right there. And uh, oh, another uh, another guacamole. Ooh, ew. Okay. Um, caution, attention. Oh, he's upside down. No, he's not. 
Oh, he's a stand. That's what he is. Okay, I love this mug. Hello. Is it like an anthropology? Yeah, it's beautiful, but I don't I don't do this stuff enough to start doing that. It has to be like treasure, you know, something like that. And I feel instantly like I have to add it to my life. Then I know that it's a good one. Ooh, look at you. Look at that sparkle. What is it? It's a bell. Wow. That's spectacular. Wow. Wow. I'm going to think about that. I'm definitely going to think about that. And time to squeeze through. We're going to take a look from above. I actually cheat and look this way sometimes. It's easier to home art made in China. It's easier to see sometimes. Like I wouldn't have seen that little bird. Ooh, hey, that's adorable. All right, I wanna get to the bird. Also, this is mid-century, but it's not my thing. All right, and then we have some silver coasters over there too. I feel like I saw it last time. Oh, look at that pretty blue bird. Okay, and then these are good. All right, let's see what else is up here. What's that? Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, oh. What does that say? Taiwan. Mm. Mm. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. Oh, chips. Chips, chips galore. All right, never mind. Let's keep moving. This is gorgeous. What do you use it for, though? What is it? I don't know. Next to this, this is really well made. This is another one of those. This really should go next to its other one. Don't you think those should go together? Um, maybe I'll do that on the way back. This looks like a chocolate bunny. It looks exactly like a chocolate bunny. Oh, so cool. So cool. Oh, what are you? You're a bartender? You are a jewelry box with a ballerina slipper. That's sweet. All right. I see a cat. <laughs> no, it's a bear. <laughs> okay, not my thing. These I remember. These are so nice. All right. What's that behind it? Oh, that's pretty. Just molded. And then those look like Nambe. There's three of them. See those three? Let's take a quick peek. Oh, teacup candle. I remember when Vintage Bombshell did a video on that. Just some nice candles, just some really, really nice shapes there. These are great together. All right, nothing else up top. All right, you guys seeing anything I'm not seeing? All right, here's the next style. I'm actually going to go over the dishes. I just wanted to take a peek because this looked good. It's not that good. It's not, it's like the quality just isn't there. This is a pretty ornament. Wow, that's pretty gorgeous. Um, I do like it. And I guess I'm a sucker for the iridescent purple. I see a velvet pumpkin over there. 
Actually, there's some interesting things. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that section. We'll do this now. So, I like this. I like anything with that kind of shape. Ooh, sorry. This, look at this. This is one of those um, things that you make in the middle. That's cool. I like that they took it apart. The velvet pumpkin. Oh, look, these are. I always, I always like them. I always look at them when it's that time of year and they're in the boutique and they're you know forty dollars. Um, oh, actually, this is nice. Look at that. That's not worn at all. Okay. Big platter. All right, I'm gonna check the. Um, I'm going to check these really fast because I do collect a pattern, which I've never told you what it is. <laughs> I just love the shapes that they make with these china sets. This is pretty. Made in Italy. Hey, I'm getting better, everybody. That's nice. Not going to get it, though. This is great. Is that a rooster? Oh, my God cocktails with a rooster oh my all right oh that's pretty i don't think that's anything have a look from above very 1970s those are fantastic all right hmm. silver Flowers, okay. All right, not seeing anything. All right, I'm gonna go to my favorite. Ooh, is that an old teapot with a? <laughs> Hi, oh, wow, this is so neat. Wow, that's neat. Wow, I know it. She, I know it. I know she's a wolf. Oh my god! Oh, this is political. That's a donkey for the Democrats, and that is a Republican. An elephant for the Republicans. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh my gosh! It doesn't matter if it's chipped. I feel like there's people that can use it. No, no, I'm not going to do it. All right. That looks pretty. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going from above. And then I'm going to go to my favorite section. All right. That looks nice. That looks very nice. Ooh. This is like hand blown. See that? Look at the way the handle wraps over to make the pour spout to creamer. It's kind of delightful. I'm not going to get it. Because I don't know enough about it. It's not my thing. All right. I'm going to go look. Hey, I do like this. No. Okay. Giant punch hole. All right. I'm going to go to my favorite section now. Okay. Let's... Soap. Let's do this. Excuse me. Go right past the um, the plastics. All right. Linux. Pretty sparkle in there. This is lovely. Look at that. It's just actually someone painted it. It's not what I thought it was. This is nice. There's just one. Okay. There's also all these down here. Look at this mid-century. Wonderful. Oh, no, it's not. That's glittery. That fooled me. That is not mid-century. I feel like I had these in my life. These look so familiar to me. Is this tugging on anyone the way it's tugging on me right now? Oh, my gosh. Okay, what is this? 
Oh, five pieces. Oh, so they are doing it by... All right, I've been making a mistake. It says $12.99, five pieces. You see that? This is gorgeous. Look at the crust. I think this is good. I think this is like the real deal kind of Dorothy Thorpe. I've never seen it in a crest pattern. I'm going to Google this. It's going to go in the cart. They're all going in the cart. I'm going to Google them. There's five pieces. All right. Okay. Let's see if there's anything here. Uh, oh, this is nice. It's an old one. No lid. No lid. I'm going to pass it by. Probably stupid. Okay, now we're getting into my other areas. Look at this old deco thing. That's me. <laughs> this is where the, the <laughs> yeah, a whole smash, smash, smash. <laughs> Oh, this is gorgeous. That's pretty. It's just a bud vase. It's so beautiful. I like this. This actually looks like it could be silver. I'm going to double check this one. So we'll put that in the cart. And then this is nice. Very pretty. Oh, look at that coffee pot. Oh, the wooden handle. Oh, it's divine. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. All right. What else is over here? Look at these. Those came together. I hope they stay together. Also these. Look at these three. Wow. That's cool. And then let's have a look all over at this. Here's more of this. This is very mid. This is very deco. What does it do? What does that shape do? Does anyone know what that shape is? I don't know. Cake stand is cool. It's like diner cake stand. How great is that? See this? Oh, I love it. Don't need it. Do love it. What's this little thing? Oh, they're measuring tapes. <laughs> okay. Now we're really getting into it. Hopefully there won't be too much smashy smashy while I'm here. This is an, ooh. Oh, what a shame, broken. I know that these are um, relatively inexpensive, but that spins. That spins, and it's got the ball in the center, and it's got yellow in it. What's the purpose of that? Just, I don't love it. <laughs> Look at it. Let me get it. I love it too much not to get it. I'll put it in here. Ooh. There are Bradley paperweights. Ooh, this is nice. That looks so old, everybody. Look at this. I think this is something good. You guys have been telling me every time I look at something like this and then don't get it, you're like, why didn't you get that? That was blah, blah, blah. Oh, there's um, someone knew what it was because they have a tag on it. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to Google this one too. What else is in here? It's another fish. <laughs> oh, this looks very like um, Jonathan Adler or CB Pottery Barn kind of thing. It's gilded wood. That's nice. Oh, this looks like Herndon. Oh, this was wonderful. I'm so sad he's chipped. He's so great. This? Kind of nice, actually. Oh, nice. Okay. You got this guy? Okay. What else is down here? Bookends. No, candle holder. 
more tea bag holders. So funny. I never saw them before, and now I'm seeing like a million of them. Ooh, this is a crystal ball. Hey, now. I always love these, the way they do. They, they do. They're like made so that you can see things upside down. I'm getting it. I'm not even going to talk about it. I love it. Oh, what's this? This is very 70s. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. That looks very vintage. All right. I'm going to put this in here. What is this? Oh. Wow. See, this looks gallery to me. This does not look at all like someone's project in, uh, you know, from school. You know what I mean? It says Bonham. Hmm. It's really 70s and cool. I do like it. I'm, I'm going to leave it. I'm sure I'm making a mistake. Oh, is there, are you a little, are you a little rabbit toothpick holder? Oh my God. Oh, you are not, you are not. Am I leaving this? What am I doing? Am, am I going too far here? I'm, I'm going. It's it. Oh. Okay. That's the bottom. That's the top. Wait a minute. I don't, I just, I have a learning curve. The curve is mine. It is my learning curve. This is beautiful. Okay, that's a very clear bottom. You see that? Something like this is stunning. And this, I will. All right, I'm going to put it in the cart. I just realized I can put it in the cart. And I can put the other things in the cart, too. I can put this in the cart. I can put this in the cart. I can check them off. Right? Of course I can. Okay. Into the cart. I just, I, it's my research is, my research is piling up, so. I like this. Oh, man. That's awesome. It's New York. And that's the Empire State Building, and the Chrysler Building, and the Brooklyn Bridge, and St. Patrick's, and what is that big building? What could that be? Maybe like the Waldorf or something? I don't know. It's got to be. Oh, maybe it's the store that it came out of. All right. Anything else in here? What does it say? Hand painted. It's a. It's got um. I guess it's a gander. <laughs> it's a goose. Is it a goose or a gander? A little trinket box. All right. It's not my thing. Butter dish is awesome. What's this? What's this? That's nice. That's nice. I like this. This is my thing. Oh, hey now, what is you? Oh, all right. I'm gonna. I just look at the shape on that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Also, there's a heart there. Okay, so this I'm gonna Google. Put that in the cart. And now this heart. Heart, clear heart, paperweight. No, I don't need it. Okay. This looks good. Okay. Oh, look at all those. A lot of those. There's a lot of those. All right. Uh, I have so much to Google. I'm going to start Googling. Actually, I couldn't Google because I saw this. Oh, it says TJ Maxx or Home Goods right there. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna stay true to form and finish, finish 
hunting and gathering. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's like an Ikebana vase. No, it's not because it doesn't. Does it? Does it sit? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Oh my, that's cool. Look at this. It looks perfectly round and it's balanced. This has nuance. You put a single bud in there. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just designed to do this. Right? Oh, dog biscuits. Fun. Oh, hey, this is Blendo. I'm learning. It's a Blendo bowl. It's so scratched. I'm going to leave it. But I knew what it was. Yay, victory. Victory. Okay. Fire department. The paint tube. Red heart box. All right, time to Google. This is the first group that I Googled. This is Amazon. It's about $20. This could be something really good. I saw some for 40. I saw some for hundreds. Don't know which one it is. Um, so I'll get that. This one is a uh, Fenton. And they were calling him a bunny egg cup or a planter. I thought he was a toothpick holder. He sells for about 40, so we'll get him. And then this guy, this is a Jeanette carnival glass, I think. And he's not, he's not damaged at all. Does he tilt back? Ooh, look how he's tilting back. He was made like that. Okay, this could be really super collectible. This we're getting. All right. And then this one, I'm going to Google too. I just realized because it's right there. So I'm Googling it. These are about $35 a set on Etsy. The fish is $20 to $35. This I'm going to Google. And these they put out while I was Googling everything. Look at them. Wait until you see the bottom. Okay, these say made in occupied Japan. All right, and I have to get them before they get damaged. They're too wonderful. I'm hoping it's um, I'm hoping it's for the set. All right, um, and now I'm gonna Google this guy and the other stuff. But these, look at them. Look at look at them. They're fantastic. The verdict on these two, this is silver plated, it's about $25, and this sells for about $10 to $15. He's a little duck paperweight. This, I was shocked at how much this was coming up for. Stay tuned to the end for the recap car haul, and I will show you what it goes for online. I was really shocked. I mean shocked. So this is definitely a yes, we are getting this. All right, that's a yes. Tuck that right in there. Now this. Okay, let's Google this guy. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay. This, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, look at that. Look at what it does. It's gorgeous. It's staying. It sells for $60 on eBay and they're calling it Murano style. Now you have to be committed to learning. Like it's not... You know, it's not so one, two, three, right? I've been Googling everything for more than half an hour now. This is called uh, glass wind chime, selling on eBay for about $30. This sells on the internet in various places from 10 to $40. So both of those are now. I'm starting with this, isn't it beautiful? It's a chunk of rose quartz. It's dated 1973, and if you saw last week's auction, I said in the auction that I found thrifting um, a big piece of rose quartz from the 1970s, and if you were keen, you saw it on the shelf 
in the video. I did not record picking it up. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but it reminds me of Curtis Jair or Jere. I'm not really sure how to say it. And also Tollware. See, it's really nicely painted. See the subtle little pink and that's all metal. And that will be coming up at auction. So if you would like a free alert to my auctions, I do uh, two nights, one auction every week, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. And you can text me at 917-809-7250. Just text Hello Dawn. And I will send you free alerts when I go live with a sale or an auction or a pop-up. And I don't spam you, it's actually my real phone number. These are, I think, my favorites right? And I looked these up and they go for the pair. They are as low as $17 and as high as 65. So it must be a condition thing. These are perfect. I feel like they came from one home fresh out of an estate sale. And um, I love them. I think they're delightful. They are Occupy Japan. There's the stamps. And I found them oh i'm gonna put you the name i think it's tiyama or something like that i'll put it down here um i love them <laughs> then there's this guy did you notice that i didn't get that much i mean i am really enjoying the process of learning this is not my area of expertise and i'm learning as i go so it takes me much longer but i'm really enjoying the process i was there a long time and i just got these few things but i was selective you know i learned when i was um beginning collecting with the vintage jewelry that um you know, there's a tuition that you pay by buying the wrong thing. And so I'm trying to avoid doing that as much as possible. If you did not see last Sunday's video with the vintage jewelry haul, I got 27 pieces of vintage jewelry. And this is actually part two of that video. So I'll put the link up there if you haven't seen it. It's definitely worth a watch. This, I found out, is a Fenton bunny. They were calling him an egg cup or um, a planter, somebody called him. I thought he was a toothpick holder. I think he's delightful. Look at what the glass does in the light and see how you can see the woven detail. Isn't that beautiful? I paid $1.99 for this and they go for about $40 and he'll be up for auction too. This I found out was Jeanette glass. Isn't this beautiful? Oh gosh, look at that in the light. Isn't that lovely? I thought that there was something up with the way that he's tilted, but they all do that. Maybe it's just so that you can really see him on the dresser and um, he's in perfect condition. Look at his little face. And what did I pay for him? I paid $2.99 for him. This, uh, the more I handled it, the more I fell in love. Look at it. It's like my amber ring. It's glowing the exact same way. What I liked about it was also it's two way. I don't know anything about it. I really don't. I just know that I was falling more and more in love with it and I thought it was really beautiful. That's the candle holder side and that's the vase side. And then this one, oh, look at this in the light. Look at that. This reminds me of the Duncan and Miller that I got in last Sunday, no, the Sunday before last Sunday's video when I was thrifting at Trinity. Um, it, it's got the same bottom or very similar. So I need to do more research. It is, I mean, look at it. Look how smooth and perfect that is. You see that? It's, it's beautiful. And I like that it's low because when you're tablescaping or designing a display or something, usually you just have vases that are taller, you know? So this is a nice one. That's coming up too. And I paid $1.99 for this and it's a total mystery. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.